Let's take a look at our top selections. Race number eight on Saturday at Santa Anita is the $200,000 Unusual Heat Turf Classic. A mile and one-eighth on grass for older cowbreds. And let's talk a little bit of history here. Unusual Heat, who recently passed away, he became one of the most prolific stallions in California history. And his most successful son or daughter is a horse by the name of Acclamation. Acclamation happens to also be the sire of the favorite for this year's Turf Classic. And the horse I'm referring to is Acclimate, and his sire is a horse by the name of Acclimation. Acclimation made $1.9 million. And from spring of 2011 through summer of 2012, Acclimation was the top older horse in California in graded stakes races, including the 2011 Pacific Classic. So let's go back in time and take a look at Unusual Heat's most successful progeny. That's Acclamation up on the front end. That's where he did most of his running. And they're coming at him, but Twirling Candy nor Stately Victor could get to him. Boy, it looks like Twirling Candy had all the momentum on the outside, but Acclamation was a bulldog. He won 11 starts, $1.9 million, the most successful progeny of Unusual Heat. and also, the sire of Acclimate, who I expect will be favored on Saturday at Santa Anita in the Unusual Heat Turf Classic. Okay, that's a little bit of history. Let's go ahead and take a look at the 11-horse field. They're going a mile and one-eighth on grass, a field of 11, and a relatively evenly matched bunch. We talked a little bit about Acclimate. He finished fourth last time out in a grade two. It was his first start in more than a year. He'll be one of the contenders. So will number six, North County Guy. And so will the graded stakes winner, number two, Warden Jerry, even though a mile and one-eighth is a little bit shorter than Ward and Jerry prefers, but he has run races that are certainly good enough, and he's due for a win in this race. He finished third in this race at 69 to 1 four years ago. He finished second in the race last year. So if you just go three, two, one, maybe this is Ward and Jerry's year. I don't know. It's candy capping. It's not quite that simple, is it? All right, let's talk about the horse to beat. And the horse to beat is number eight, Acclimate. Acclimate was the winner of the grade two Del Mar handicap in 2019, but at the end of the year, he needed a long break. I'm not exactly sure what the exact ailment was, but Acclimate had been off for more than one year when Phil D'Amato, his trainer, brought him back in a relatively ambitious spot. And it actually made sense to bring him back in the grade two Hollywood Turf Cup because Acclimate figured to be the controlling speed in that mile and one half grass race. How did he run? Well, that's Acclimate on the lead, turning for home. No, he won't win the race, but boy, did he run well. He led all the way to inside the final eighth, and then he got swallowed up by some pretty good horses. Arclo, Lucario, and Say the Word would finish one, two, three, and Acclimate, Fourth beaten two lengths, making his first start in more than one year, going a mile and one half. Pretty good comeback, I'd have to say. Now he's dropping from grade two into a Calbred Stakes race. And if Acclimate can avoid dueling with the likes of Fly to Mars, who has some speed, so does Heck Yeah have speed, I suspect that Acclimate will be pretty tough in this mile and one-eighth turf race. Now, if they hound him early, maybe they can run him into the ground, but a lot of times in grass routes in particular, the pace duels that we expect just don't materialize. We know what the pace is going to be like in a dirt sprint because you can identify two or three front runners and you know they have to go. But in two-turn grass races, pace duels do not always unfold as expected. So even though there are a couple horses in this race that have speed, maybe they won't be going as fast as they might. And I still think Acclimate will be tough, but he's not the only horse in the race. And North County Guy, even though he finished 10th in the Hollywood Turf Cup, the race in which Acclimate finished fourth, even though North County Guy ran horribly last time out, if you can draw a line through one race and go back to his Santa Anita form, North County Guy runs best on the grass course at Santa Anita, including this win, two starts back. It was October 9th at Santa Anita. 
And take a look at North County Guy absolutely destroying this second level allowance field. Winning clear by more than three lengths under Mario Gutierrez for trainer Richie Baltus. This is a powerful win, a fast win, a 93 buyer speed figure. Big win over his favorite course. He came back and misfired. North County Guy did. He misfired at Del Mar. But on Saturday, he is back at Santa Anita, and that's where he runs best. And by the way, Richie Baltus is he's running the bridesmaid stable of the meet so far. Two wins and 10 seconds going into the weekend. You know that's going to turn eventually, and it might turn with North County Guy. Okay, what about Ward and Ward and Jerry? Ward and Jerry, last March 21st, it was in the grade three San Luis race stakes at Santa Anita. And Ward and Jerry. What does he do? Well, he pops up and wins this race as the nine to five second choice. They were going a mile and one half on good turf that day. Warden Jerry, this was his most recent win and it was last spring. So it's been a long time, but he's been running in some tough spots. Three consecutive graded stakes races. He wants to run a mile and one half. Warden Jerry does. The problem is there aren't any cowbred stakes at a mile and one half. He's dropping in class. He's shortening in distance. He'll be running late. Flavian Pratt is aboard for trainer Mike Pipey, and Warden Jerry is a definite contender. He's won six out of 24 starts. But with all is said and done in the unusual heat turf classic, I like Acclimate to win this race with either a front running and or pace pressing trip. I'm not sure what price he'll be, but I do know this. Going in, Acclimate is the best horse in the field. Race number eight, Saturday at Santa Anita.